Hi all, this is uh, me again. I've been doing some further testing and uh, I've decided that um, unfortunately I'm going to have to go through every panel and do a, a complete uh, testing of each in um, a number of ways. One is passive uh, resonance. The first passive method uh, is with the mylar at the front next to the microphone and the speaker forcing through the half panel. The uh, second way is with the speaker going through the half panel and the microphone on the back side as shown here. My third sus subset of uh, passive is uh, with uh, the whole panel uh, in one piece with a the speaker one side and the microphone the other. Uh, second is active resonance, that is a panel in situ and powered. This is a treble panel, so what I've done, I've uh, connected all of the stator rings to the outside stator potential, and uh, so it would appear like one, one uh, base panel. With the base panel, I, I simply uh, just connected the uh, outside ones. The stator wire is not connected, I have simply uh, placed in a little plastic bag uh, to uh, keep them out of the way. And this is and this is going to take a while. So so I'll get back to you as soon as I've uh, done some work. Here is a uh, speaker test panel running a uh, a frequency response through it and and getting a curve. This particular one has a very low shallow resonance of 42 hertz, but that is quite what I expected. It's a, a very loose diaphragm. That's my HP laptop, by the way. That's a bit of a plug for uh... HP, I used to work for Agilent for 27 years and they used to be a subsidiary of uh, Hewlett Packard. The other third method is to actually use a weight to see what the tension on the uh, diaphragm is. And what I've done in the past, and I, I, I will do all of these panels again, and that is to use a weight with uh, protected by a plastic film on the bottom. You place it on the diaphragm in one of the two middle sections and when it hits the stator, whatever that weight is, is what I need to reproduce. Now, for example, this particular one from when I was doing this a few years ago, is 137 grams and uh, but I will redo all of them anyway so they're the three ways and on my little list here active passive weight I will compare all of these and uh, correlate and hopefully arrive at a consensus the big problem of course with with uh, determining this is that there's very little information out there uh, from either any technical papers from quad themselves and uh, e even on the web it's very hard to find information about what the resonance or weight should be they those who repair the panels uh, I guess wish to uh, keep the information to themselves for obvious reasons but that's not me. Whatever I learn, 
will be on this uh, video. Rather than extend this uh, video, I'm going to uh, post my results in the uh, next video. Part C, C out, out shortly. shortly.